Well, I'm confused by the scene to TNT Bible story time where we have the power of the Holy Spirit. Oh, Miss Trisha, I'm so confused. That's a different language. I don't understand what you're saying. Oh, but you know, Papa. Papa, I know that word. Yeah, Yeah, Daddy English. Yeah, I know those words. I speak English. Yes. But you also were speaking a different language. Oh, that was I'm brand new. Sorry. I've been traveling. I forgot. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh my goodness! It I was know. All over the world. Sometimes when you go to other places, you hear other languages and you don't understand what they're saying. But that reminds me of today's Bible story, which comes from the book of Acts, which happens to be where we left off last week, where Jesus had returned up into heaven in a cloud, but he left a special message before he left saying, wait, wait, I'm going to give you a special helper. I'm not going to leave you alone. I'm always going to be with you. So that special helper is the power of the Holy Holy Spirit. Spirit. We even talk about that every week. So let me read to you from Jesus Calling Bible storybook, and Miss Trisha, she's going to do all the fun props and pictures for us. It says, Jesus promised to always be with God's people, even after he went back to heaven. But how could that be? Well, God had a special surprise waiting, the Holy Spirit. Some followers of Jesus were in an upstairs room of a house when a mighty, it sounded like a mighty rushing wind came into the room. It was very loud. And it said that there were bursts of fire that skipped in all directions and danced on the wind. And then what looked like a little flame, a flicker of fire, rested on top of each person's head. That was the promised Holy Spirit. (gasps) Wow. Wow. I don't know. I think I would be a little nervous about a little fire on my head that my hair would catch on fire. Yeah. Do you think that happened? I don't know. Keep going. No. It says, this was not a typical usual fire. It didn't burn. It was something special, like when you have a birthday and you have a candle on a cake. Like this. I made a birthday cake for you. Oh, it's so cute. This is really sweet. It looks delicious. Well, this was the birthday of the church. Oh, I'm not going to blow this one out because this one is reminding me of our story today, which is the Holy Spirit. And you can't blow the Holy can't Spirit out. blow it out. Nope, it's a special love that stays in your heart when you trust and follow Jesus. So even though at the start of the church, can't they had this special little flame over their head as a sign that something new was happening, that the Holy Spirit had come. We don't have that little flame today, but we can have the Holy Spirit inside of us to give us love, joy, and peace when we trust in Jesus. Yes. It says that joy filled their hearts like it never had before. It was a joyful love so powerful that they had to tell everyone about Jesus. Jesus' Holy Spirit had come down from heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is what the Christians shouted, and they said, Praise God. On that very day, people from all over the world were in that city of Jerusalem to celebrate a special, special feast called the uh, Passover or the Pentecost, sorry, the Pentecost. And when they heard the disciples speaking loudly in different languages, people were so surprised they came running to see what was going on. What is happening? Aren't these people men that are fishermen and they haven't gone to school and they speak all these different languages from all these countries? How can that be that they can speak these different languages when they've never gone to school to learn how to do it? I don't know. You need kind of like a pencil and paper to learn things. I mean... Unless the Holy Spirit gives you an extra special gift of languages. And that's what he did. He that's gave amazing. a gift of being able to talk in a language. Kind of like you were doing at the beginning of our, of our video. It said that some followers didn't really understand what they were doing and they were making fun of them. They said, look at these crazy Jesus followers. <laughs> what is wrong with them now? But nothing was wrong with them. Everything was right with them. They had so much love and joy and peace in their heart that they, it was like it was bubbling out and over. And that makes me think of a song about Jesus' love is bubbling over and it goes like this. Jesus' love is a bubbling over. Jesus' love is a bubbling over. Jesus' love is a bubbling over. Hallelujah. All right, until next week. Bye, guys. Bye.